Hi everybody, I pulled a card and this one will probably take us through the end of the month and it also fits with some of the astrology that is coming and I pulled the dog and I have to tell you I have not seen this card in a long time. There are several in this deck because it is Native American and it's all about the earth, how we relate to each other and everything. And it's actually deeper than you think. I like it because tarot scares people. They've been trained to think that that's evil. And this is an easy way for people to kind of see that it's like there's representations all around you to clue you in on energy, where you sit with that energy. And there's nothing evil going on and there is nothing evil about the dog the dog. Oh, so the dog represents service and loyalty. And so I think that we are paying attention to that, particularly light workers. If you're listening to this, probably inclined to be that person. Also just people that were service to others, service dog. You know, when we think about like, I got to have my dog on the plane with me to relax my anxiety and this is my dog it goes everywhere with me it's because they are loyal and a dog is service to others based so for us that have been doing work for a long time and you may not realize that you've been doing that work if you have kind of had to deal with narcissists and stuff which we all have it could be your boss partner friends family, uh, all of the above, right? That we come from a place of service to others and this gets abused. So I want to talk about, there's some things with dog that if dog is abused after all of that loyalty and they only want to be of service to you and they've been mistreated, they become mean. So we know anyone who has a rescue dog or everyone says, don't go up on him. Don't make loud noise. Don't because that brain has been fractured. Okay. That brain and that sense of I came to serve has been fractured, abused. It, it's a fractured state of energy that they don't know what they've done wrong. Should they continue to be of service? At what point do they just protect themselves? I think we are going through this because we're rededicating ourselves as working the light, okay? We say light worker, you're working the light, you're working the energy, right? And yet we're also in a position to deal with betrayal. So a dog that has to be rescued has been betrayed. They were abused, left abandoned, you know, and you always know of someone who has a rescue dog because they'll, they'll warn you, you know, they'll say, oh, don't come up, you know, don't uh, put your hand out too fast. Don't make a loud noise. So we understand that this little being that came to serve, there's damage you know, I hate to use that kind of vernacular, like damage. Seems like you won't work your way out of it. I happen to know of a lot of service dogs that got such a great lease on life later. I happen to know one that gets a lobster tail for dinner on a special occasion. Okay, so, and we're very worried about what's happening to these dogs. What about people? So you have people that were always designed to be of service, and we just kind of let anything happen to them, betrayal, whatever. And this, A lot of this goes into your karma and who you are. But we're being asked, like, get back in the game. You're going to be service to others, and there's no trust. See, that's the thing when a dog has been abused, and the reason that they growl and become mean is trust has been literally beaten out of them. So we got to pay attention to what areas of our life have, are we letting 
external forces beat it out of us. A dog can't just hop in their car and go get a job, meet new people. They're not on the internet, okay? We feel bad for the dog because they don't have a lot of external power, but you do. You actually have external power to move past this being treated like you're a rescue dog, that it's been beaten out of you, the light and the amount of service that you want to give. We're disgusted when it happens to a dog, and I will repeat, what about people? So, um, and it's the people that adopt the dogs. So if we don't like help the people out, we got a problem. Who, who's gonna take care of an abused dog if you've been so abused yourself? Some of the homeless shelters, they say, well, they won't go in to the shelter because you have to be clean and sober. That's not always the case. Some of them, if they're on the street, they have a dog. That dog has been loyal and of service, okay? They are not going to give up that dog to go into your shelter situation. So, that's something to think about because you'll see them with a dog. That dog is everything because they were a loyal person that got hurt. And the only thing offering loyalty back at that time is the dog. Okay. So that is how special the dog is to us. It goes back into ancient uh, times that you'd have a campfire uh, and the dog would bark or warn you that danger is coming only in return for friendship and food. That's all they wanted. So if you are empathic and you've had narcissist empathic relationships, you're just incredulous at this point. It's like, all I did was offer service and this is what I got back. That is changing. It's changing. It's hard to trust now, though, to rededicate yourself that it's going to be a different paradigm. So a lot of us are holding back at a time that could be so potent, right, to push forward because we are dealing with the wounds of being almost like a shelter dog. Now, I know that your arrogance sometimes or, you know, everything, you don't like being compared to that, but... I want you to think about that. Been loyal and maybe mistreated. And what is this creating in you? Are you becoming that mean uh, shelter dog that you don't really want around little kids? They will snap and everything. That is not a dog's nature. That's a dog that's been fractured, okay? And how have you been fractured? This is deep healing and it needs to really happen for you to rededicate yourself. Feel like that the very essence of you is of service. It takes a lot to get a dog to that point. They are so patient with human shortcomings. They're so patient. You've had a bad day. They let it go, right? They don't, and this is why we love our dogs, right? dogs, kitties, any animal that will come forward and just be patient with, like you live this 3D life and they're like, okay, guess I'll just be patient. You'll work through it and then you come back to me as a, a very positive partner in your life. This is what we should be expecting is people have shortcomings, but if they don't come back and be a realistic partner in your life, you've got to let that go. You have to because you have a bigger mission of service. All the dogs that I think about that could have been in such a mission of service to others, they take them into children's hospitals. They'll sit with patients. I've met some of these service dogs. The energy is so beautiful. It is. And so is yours. So it is a time to heal through this and be honest about uh, your life being hijacked a little bit. Process that anger and that disappointment 
spiritual community doesn't really like to dig into that. It's negative. It'll, it brings them down. You get a card reading. I don't want to deal with it. It brings my energy down. That's a skill level problem because you should be able to express just how bad this has been to process it. If you can express through the throat, which I'm seeing a lot, the throat and everything, the lungs being affected because we're being told, well, for you to master it, then you you won't burden anybody with it. And so I'm just wondering if we're just not a pack of dogs that can't get our shit together. So something to think about there. The dog also is, um, you could have a person of service, but gossip and different things behind their back um, ruin loyalty. Uh, people that gossip, is, are, they're trying to disrupt you being loyal to that person from their perspective. They want you to be actually loyal to them is what they're really after there. So I would watch any kind of gossip. If you haven't experienced that for yourself in that way, then it's pure gossip and it's manipulation. I wouldn't participate in it all. If you hear gossip and talk about other people, um, I would shut that down right now. I would get that away from you. That's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about that hijacks your ability to be of service with, because you're going to get attacked, okay? And a lot of us are getting attacked, but it's okay if you know where you kind of stand. The other thing about this is truth, personal truth. The dog will stay in their personal truth until it's just unbearable. And then they will relinquish that just for pure survival. That's where you get the mean, snapping dog that will go after children and things like that. So that's uh, external forces have broken that being, see? So we have to pay attention to things like this. And also, have you been a loyal person a lot of you listening to this is, will say, I've been more than loyal. The other question is, who's been loyal to you? Okay. Betrayal. Are you the dog in the pound waiting to get rescued? You will rescue yourself by simply saying you do not have the right to abuse me. We feel bad for the dog, like I said, that can't just go run off, get a job and change their situation that's why we our hearts go out to them. Human beings were like, you could have changed that at any time. But it doesn't seem very viable if there is. And this card does come up with gossip and people trying to pull you down and make you the beaten down dog. Okay? So we have to really pay attention. Stand in your truth. Okay? Because this dog is just saying to you, I am, am a being of service. If you abuse me, that's on you. That's on you. And how sad is that? And so we're going to shift this grief into something more powerful. And our boundaries are going to be set. And I want you to pay attention to those boundaries, which maybe a dog doesn't get to have. And why we feel more sorry for them than we do people but we have no idea what people have been through and how maybe their sense of service to others has been hijacked. And we need to pay attention and be more compassionate during a time when no compassion may be coming our way. This is mastery. This is your self-mastery, okay? You see the ugly. I have feelings about that ugly. And I transmute it. I do an alchemical process within my body because I am that powerful and I still come out service to others in the end. Don't forget your service to others. It seems really hard to do right now. I'm here with you. I understand it. I go through it myself. And so and no lie there, you know, 
So nobody has mastered this. And if they tell you they've mastered it, they're a liar. It's a That's a form of manipulation and betrayal. So be careful during this time because we are going to realign ourselves. Make sure the people around you and relationships are not ones of easy betrayal. They're ones of loyalty, the way you are loyal and of service. And if they don't connect up with you on that level, get rid of them now. Don't give them a second chance. I I'm done with these second chances. They're just going to show you who they are once again because you, you were like uh, shocked. You were shocked maybe that it was this bad, you know? You're like, people really do this? Yes, they do. And some of that is just a lesson for you, for you to hold tight. So really for you to work through past betrayal, past narcissistic partners, bosses, friends, and Good God, our government at this point, the biggest narcissist of all, and move past it, okay? This is where you look at moving past it because you're not a dog in a kennel. You might feel like that. You have lots of options as a human being, lots. And so I would start looking at those to get out of these situations, heal them, come back to a place of service, I hope this helps and I can help you to uh, process that because you're going to be angry about it. And then after you process that anger, come back right into service. It's just the way we're built. We're just built that way. You could be mad about it, but you are built that way. So you'll learn you got to protect your energy at that point. I hope this helps. Uh, contact me if you have any questions. I can go deeper with you. But I love this. The dog has shown back up. And this kind of loyalty is needed. And service to others and rededication is needed. So love the dog. Till next time.